Okay, I'm convinced that the Pacific Northwest is the most animal friendly place you will ever see. Okay, and that's why I know you're going to enjoy this season finale of Wizard of Paws. Derek Campagna travels the world making animal prosthetics. And in this next episode, which is the finale, he travels to Thailand to treat an elephant named May Mai. You can catch the season finale uh, this Sunday at 4 p.m. on BYU TV or stream it for free on the BYU TV app. But for now, check out our interview. Derek, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Oh, uh, anytime you want to come on this show, you are more than welcome. <laughs> Very cool, very cool. <laughs> the Pacific Northwest is like so uh, animal friendly. And so I know people are going to love this interview, everything that we're going to talk about today, because we are talking about the finale of Wizard of Paws. I mean, you guys are in your fourth season. How does that feel? It feels crazy. Just saying it out loud like that. End of season four, about to jump into season five. Wow. I mean, I can't believe it. it's so surreal um, helping these animals. You know, these transformations you see on the Wizard of Paws, working with BYU TV, getting to spread this uh, message to the world, showing what can be done to help animals in need. It's been just such an amazing, magical thing. Yeah, and you know, your profession isn't a uh, common one, <laughs> I would think. Um, <laughs> how did you get into making prosthetics for animals? Yeah, you're probably not gonna meet another one of me. Um, there's only about 10 of us in the world, but, uh, you know, I started with the human prosthetic industry and I had a dog, a black lab named Charles walk through my door one day needing a prosthesis. I built the prosthesis for him and I got such joy watching him walk for the first time and watching the owner break down in tears. I was hooked. That was such an addictive feeling. And that was about 20 years ago and 35,000 patients, uh, deep. And um, I, I'm never going to not do this. I love what I do. And you do it all over the world. Yeah, that's, a, that's another great part of this. You get to travel Africa, Bhutan, Thailand, South America, everywhere, really, and then help these animals in need because there's no, no shortage. They have the same types of injuries that people do. And uh, there's so few of us out there in the world. You, you got to travel to them and help them out. And then in this uh, finale, you're actually going to Thailand to help an elephant i mean I, your life is just <laughs> it is I mean, it's so I, I, I pinched myself yeah. <laughs> it's crazy you know we're helping a couple a couple elephants out there in thailand and a, and a cow um you know you're traveling across the world and you're you're face to face with these guys not knowing what they're going to do to you or uh, or anything so it's just the biggest challenge every single day of my career but this you're in for a treat, 90 minute special this Sunday on BYU TV. My wife gets to, to join in on the fun and uh, just helping these gentle giants in need. Well, we can't wait. I have to, one last question before we go. I mean, we already talked about elephants. We're about to watch you work with an uh, elephant, just huge out of this world. <laughs> but what has been the craziest animal that you've worked with? Is, is it gonna be the elephant or is there something else? The elephants are number two. Actually, number one is this camel named Mo that really uh, sends, shoots a curveball at me. It's like, whoa, I never knew. And that was the first camel I ever fit with devices. Um, I did not know what I was going to be in for, but uh, yeah, this camel named Mo, that was a couple episodes ago, was by far my biggest challenge. But this, uh, these elephants are a very close second. All right, Mo the... <laughs> Mo just changed the whole game. I, I like it. Mo the Campbell. All right. Thank you so much, Derek. I really appreciate you being here. We are definitely tuning in for the finale, and we can't wait for, for the next season. Congratulations on, on getting another one, and I know it'll probably just keep going and going. And even if the cameras aren't following you, you've done so much in your career. And just as animal lovers, we thank you for all the work that you do. Thank you so much for having me. I'm going to keep going.